Uh, Nixie versus Venya. Um, so I don't know that I've seen these two play, actually. Uh, both very strong contenders. Venya, sort of local legend with his Greninja, and Nick has sort of... Uh, he, he's one of those guys who'll show up and everyone's like, yo, is Nixie going to take a tournament today? Is Nixie going to come in and he's going to he's gonna baffle everybody with this Falcon? And honestly, after the buffs, he has been taking names like nobody's business. All right, spacing out with the double jump there. Actually, no strong tech chase on that one. Normally, you see a little bit with a fair with that from Benny, but maybe a little too low of a percent to go for. Okay, so he does confirm it. Jesus. All right. So Nick, on top of everything else, maybe it's just me, but it seems like he can get a raw confirm off of just about anything. Back hit up up till, you know, the side B is like an easy stuff that you get now combos after. But Nick's looking for the complicated stuff. And a lot of other confirm as well. Right, get some off stage. Kind of goes for a little bit of a hard read there in the F smash. Probably could have played it with something a little safer and allows Nick to get back to stage, but I can't blame him for wanting to take an early slot, especially against Falcon, who can put out some explosive damage. All right, threatens the off stage. Actually, lets him buy. All right, so that right there was Nick looking for the first hit of Nair. Um, Spoiler, like a lot of other Nairs with two hits, that's sort of a big combo tool to go for. And you'll see Nick do that a lot in certain percents. Just now with the bear deck, yeah, in neutral. Pushes him to the ledge. All right. Tries to chase him back on the ground. Doesn't actually get the re-grab. That looked like he should have gotten it. All right, there's that falling first hit in air. It doesn't actually get the confirm off, but it looks for a chase. Okay. This confirms off of that. Falcon kick in neutral. Okay. So that move's still a little risky. Decent for killing, but it's not going to kill it. This was a... Might have been innocent, but we'll never know. Until... See now... Venya normally, especially percents like this, where it's a little dicey about who will get the kill. He likes to go for the safe confirms. Uh, dash attack is sort of safe. Down tilt, etc. Trying to go for forward air. Uh, up smash on the platforms, etc. Tries to go for it there. There we go. Catches him back. Pseudo frame traps him. Oh, he doesn't tech it! Yo, this could be bad. Nope. Threatens off stage and said goes for the ledge trap on that one. Nick is so strange. Sometimes he just makes weird decisions, but they seem like they work out far more than they don't. Nice. Good patience. That's always a threat for a character like Falcon as well, where if you get knocked off stage, and uh, I guess it would be Water Gun. When you get Water Gunned off by Greninja, it's always there, even if you think you're back in your save. All right. Threatening is down there. Nothing out of it. for the mix-up. Regrab doesn't actually get the chase on that one. All right, dash attack just killing. Yeah. Oh, Nick wants to end it. All right, good chase. I mean, he's close to death percent anyway. I can't blame him for wanting to put on a little bit extra. Doesn't? I swear Greninja has a kill throw at this percent. I'm surprised he didn't go for it. All right. Oh my god, he got it. Yo. Yo. <sighs> well, sometimes you get falconed, you know? No matter how good or bad, and granted, Nixie is very good. Sometimes uh, Falcon hits you, and he down airs you, or he knees you. And, uh... Oh. The peak just... Uh, sorry. No furries, no scalies. You're not welcome on my stage. <laughs> they're, they're all gone. <laughs> All right, back to PS2. All right. Chase him with the dash attack. Trying to go for a fair string on that one, but Nick actually texts there. He's going to have to eat these up air strings, though. Falcon's only got so much that he can do to get back onto the ground, which is unfortunate. Good job. Feel that long run back. Get over. Has to go for the forward air on that one. Oh, gets him with the anti air. And you're looking pretty good, trying to keep him up in the air on this one. Nice. Oh, he tried to use the water gun. Let's see how it is. 
Yep. Going deep off stage for it. There we go. So it's really difficult to try to hold your up B for the very end in anticipation of Water Gun because then you open yourself up to Venya like runoff, uh, forward airing, etc. So Nick's got to mix it up, but sometimes you just eat a mix up for whether or not you live. And even with Falcon's Fall Speed, you can only mix it up so much. That was actually a really good use of the uh, shooting right there. Right. Up air straight. Nice. Base it out. Nick has been looking for those down airs a lot. Right. It's a low angle. Ooh. Uh, oh, yeah. He just can't go back. All right. Nair trains. Taking lessons from Palutena, not quite as potent, but he does get a little bit of a chase off that. Good angle. Oh, okay, trade. It's not a bad trade. That gets him a little bit more stage control and a bit of space to run around. Venya, I mean. Nick's still coming in, though. He's not letting them breathe. Oh, yo, he did the down tilt in the wrong direction. That's unfortunate. I don't think it would have worked even if he did it in the correct direction, but he might have gotten a trade off of it otherwise. Right. Just keep water gunning. How else are you gonna put out fire? Ooh, good spacing. Very nice. So Greninja does have the ground speed. If he wants to bait something like that out, or if he wants to go back on the stage a little bit and wait for something like that, he can. All right, straight hit with back air. Goes for the chase. Doesn't actually get it a little early on the nair. All right, there we go. No chase on that one. Good parry. Oh, jabs in the wrong direction. Gets the crosser. This is looking a lot different from game one. All right, back here. You know, as I say that, I, I feel like Venya has had a lot more control in this game, but they're still about even. Um, all right, that was super awkward. Both of them had some opportunities to take. <laughs> Look at that! The stand perfect still and wait. No defensive option, just wait. All right. Good bait out. Very nice fade away. That'll be... Yes, that will do it. Very nice. That was really slick from Venya towards the end of that one. The fade back was super purposeful and really well done. Look at this. Look at how well done that was. Tech chases on the neutral get up and then kill confirms them. That was super slick. All right, going to game three. Still staying on the PS2. Uh, again, most people's favorite neutral stage, and I don't think either character particularly benefits too hard from this. A little bit of combo potential, a little bit of chase, and then longest stage, which can technically benefit both characters. Greninja may be a little bit more so because he's got the projectile so he can zone if he wants to, but Captain Falcon does benefit from having more space to dash around and threaten himself. Because Captain Falcon is his own best projectile, really. All right, just the next day. Oh, he waited for the stall and fall. The delay, weird looking stall and fall. Does get punished for it though. Back off stage, good angle to avoid the down air. That was deep. Right. Shadow Sneaks to try to catch an aggressive option. See, I'm seeing a lot of Nick doing a uh, whole jab on Wake Up here. That might be it. Yo! He can actually get back from that. And no tech from Venny again. That's the second time. Yo! All he had to do was tech it. All right. So that's a big shift in Nick's favor there. If Venny can't confirm off of this, he's going to be getting a lot of extra percent. There he goes. 7.5, this is still pretty even playing field. Let's go for a Nair Punish. Or not Nair Punish, he goes for a Nair Punish. And you're taking a lot of stage. Nixie chasing him over it. See, Venue seems really content to try to cross back up and then run to the edge of the stage to give him some time to, I guess, anticipate Nixie's approach, which is not a bad idea in itself because he can play Campy a bit better than Falcon can, but that still means that he has to hold that mix-up, especially if Nixie gets closer and takes that stage control dominant, which he has been. He's very aggressive with putting himself out there in the stage. 
right? Going for a lot of jump out of shield down airs. Jesus. All right. Trying to bait something up for double jump. Nothing off of it. Nice. That was a really good bait on there. All right. Fade back. Gets the grab. Pushes him back off stage. <laughs> Knee into the stage. Sending a message. Again, okay, so that's not an accident. He's doing that intentionally. Is it a call out? Is he just building Falcon Mojo? All right. Yeah, Falcon sweeps your feet, man. Falcon. He <laughs> just covered like five options. <laughs> Falcon goes whoop, and then he trips you, man. Going off stage, jumping up with the falling nair, and then doing the down tilt. Oh my god. <laughs> covered so many things at so many different intervals, all so tightly packed together. Yes. Honestly, with. Falcon's always been scary at the bridge, right? But with what he's got now with the buffs, now he can take advantage of that and still have a decent stage game on top of it. Good parry. Gets. F tilt, honestly, was the best choice there, I think. Uh, anything else might have been a little bit unsafe. He could have gone for a grab, maybe, but. Up tilt, just keep, or uh, not up tilt, up air, just keep chaining him. All right, does a good job getting out of the situation there. Goes out of the chase. He's been doing that a lot with getting out of the chase with a double jump. Falcon actually tucks really far for that, so it's not a bad option. All right, spacing out. Doesn't get any punish off that, but checks with the jabs. No confirm. A little bit too high percent to confirm off that. Maybe could have gotten him up B, but it would have been super tight if so. So Nick playing a little bit on the off foot here. A lot of shield. Checking with jabs. Nearly pays the price with his life for it. All right, good blitz at the water. Not chasing off stage. Oh, footstool. Okay, very nice. Yo, very nice. That was good. <laughs> Yo, Benny actually looks pretty happy about that set, all things considered. It's good to see. They both played really well. That was honestly really good. Venya, why didn't you tech those, though? Why didn't you tech those? Right. Yep, very nice going for the confirms on that. Venya is so good at that confirm. I can't speak for how hard it is, because obviously, well, it is what it is, but that was... Oh, yep. <laughs> Wait, can we can we see him do the, the ledge coverage like that? Because I don't think I fully appreciated it like you had when it happened of just how many options he had covered with that before he did the sweep. I would, but I think the next set's like getting started like right now. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Who we got? We've got Jen 